So let's talk about uh, why we would want to standardize scores, and we're going to speak specifically to the Z-score uh, today and see how that can be helpful. Um, let's assume we've got somebody who's doing poorly in school, and uh, we may do an, an IQ test uh, ha and, and hopefully determine what the discrepancies are and if there's a learning uh, disability or so forth, but it might also be helpful to look at um, their level of grit and their persistence towards goals and projects and conscientiousness, you know, the degree to which they are striving to do their best and so forth. And I know from the literature that there is a positive correlation between grit and conscientiousness. And the reason for giving maybe two instruments to this particular student is we always want to use multiple measures when we're trying to assess to get a better picture and feel for the situation. Um, so let's just assume we've got three different students here. We're just going to work with one today, but I did put three different scores. And for student one, we were, give, uh, they, we were admi administered the grit and the conscientiousness scale of the um, five-factor model. And they scored, uh, they scored a 3.2 on the grit and a 60 on the conscientiousness. Now, we can kind of eyeball these numbers and try to get a feel for are they, are they correlating, do they seem to match up? Um, but it'd be a little bit difficult. And we're also, to graph this, we're really on two different units of measure here. It would be difficult to do that. We'd have to have a, a really big uh, graph to get 60 and 3.2. So then, that makes it so much easier for us, uh, or it makes it worthwhile to look at standardizing these scores so that we can really see how closely related they are. To do that, we calculated the mean um, for these three students was 3.63, and then the standard deviation of 0.33, um, and then for the uh, conscientiousness scale, a mean of 61.67, and a standard deviation of 6.24. So to calculate the mean, we will take the score minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So let's do that for student one here. And what we would do is we'll take um, the score, 3.2 minus uh, the mean, 3.63. And this big fat chalk's not working very well, so I'm going to use this. Uh, and divided by the uh, standard deviation. And here, I've already calculated this, and the z-score that we would get is a negative 1.30. Okay, and that was for the grit. Okay, so we did that. So let's do this also for the conscientiousness. 60, the score, minus the mean, 61.67, uh, divided by the standard deviation, 6.24. So the Z for conscientiousness is equal to um, negative 0.27. So if we were to come here, the nice property of the Z scale is that the mean is always going to be zero, and then one standard deviation above the mean, two, three, one standard deviation below the mean, uh, two standard deviations below the mean, and then three standard deviations below the mean. So now if we were to graph these for student one, we would say about right there and say right here. So if we were to look at student one, we see, we can tell that this person was um, below the mean uh, for both of grit and conscientiousness. And then we have somewhere that we, we know that we need to somehow bolster uh, grit and conscientiousness.